Hey guys, um, this is my the um first tutorial on like the similar CC to Legendary, and I'll just get up, get it up, <coughs> show you. So hold on. Okay, so this is what we're going to be making today. It's similar CC to Legendary. So open the old Vegas or after Adobe After Effects, whichever has Magic Bullet Looks in it. Oh yeah, you need Magic Bullet Looks for this. And import your clip. And favela. Yep. Okay, so do normal stuff for the civil sample. Um, uncheck or maintain aspect ratio and drag the lines and just a smidgen so this yeah you know what I mean and get your magic bullet looks have a preset so okay so as you can see it's like similar and so yep this is it and you're gonna need saturation which is found in subject and for the saturation it's going to be 70 percent and exposure compensation whatever zero percent and for the red is 0 0.309 and for green is 0 0.609 and for blue is 0 0.082 so yeah don't have to do it exactly the same Try not to do it exactly the same because, yeah, for the fusion, it's found in the matte or whatever, and the size is 30% and grade is 6, six. yeah, and glow is 100%, and highlights only is 75%, highlight bias 0, exposure compensation 0, and then the red is just 1000, and green 1000, and blue 1000. Sorry if you can hear anything in the background. Uh, like the light flex, this is found in Mate as well. The boost is going to be minus 5 from special compensation, it's like 0. And for red, is 0.824. For the green, 0.944. For the blue, just 1000. Oh, 1, I don't know. I like to call it 1000, doesn't matter. And now the vignette, which is found in the lens, um, you can like keep it the same, I don't know, you can do anything with this, but the, what I have is for a radius, 1000, spread 0.750, and fall off 0.500, strength 75%, exposure compensation 0%. And for the colours, red 0, and green 0, blue 0. Yeah, um, you can just mess around with that, and for edge softness, you're going to, which is a fan and lens, the blur size is 2, quality, 3, and get this, just, I don't know, I'll tell you this, this is important, like, so, okay, so, center X, which is plus 2.7%, and the Y axis is, plus 100% and radius is 1.823 spread 0 0.265 okay so yeah you can do stuff with that you can change the blur size and quality to your liking okay so once you've done that go to grad exposure which is found in camera and put that on there. And for the stops is plus 0 0.60 and x1 zero, x2 zero, y1 is minus minus fifty percent and to y2 plus fifty percent fall off zero point five hundred and then all the colours are up to one thousand. So yep, that's for that. 
Now maybe it on the curves. Should be. Yeah, so you mess around with that. So I've changed colours and curves, so you're going to need to go to RGB and it's around in post. So yeah. So you're gonna have to copy down this. So I'll just let you pause that and copy it down. For lift gamma gain, which is also found on post, the gamma space is 2.20 strength, 100%. Exposure compensation is zero. And for the lift, the red is 0.917, green is 0.899, and blue is like 1000. Now on gamma, gamma, red. 0.953, green 1.020, blue 1.027, and for the gain, for red, 1.293, and green 0.994, and blue 0.713. So yeah. So, like I said, this is not the exact CC for Legendary, it's a similar one that I made. Yes, you can save it as a preset. And here. It, what I need to say is that it doesn't really look as good on COD 4 or Black Ops. Um, like, it depends on map what you have on COD 4 or Black Ops. It'll look different. But yeah, it works best on Modern Warfare 2, and that's what I also like to edit with Modern Warfare 2 or Black Ops. I'm not as good with COD 4 editing and stuff. And if you don't have Magic Bullet Looks, you can go to my previous tutorial, which is how to get Magic Bullet Looks, and if that doesn't help you, you can have YouTube be your friend, and yeah, you see why I'm going with that. So, yeah. Bye. Thank you.